Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, it's been a little over a week. Maybe even closer to two. Um, sorry, work. I told you, videos are going to be coming out sporadically. Um, also, again, it's just, there's, I just wasn't feeling it last week. Um, mainly because of what I wore. Uh, which was the Calvin Klein Defy. Not that it's a bad scent. By any stretch of the word, it's actually really pleasant. Um, I just wasn't feeling it. That's all. I don't know how else to explain it. <laughs> you know, uh, tattoos healing up pretty good. Just a little scabbing left on around here and here and a little bit here. A tiny little bit here. Um, one guy got all religious in the last video and commented about my, something about tattoos and inking your skin and going to hell, I guess. I don't know. Whatever, dude. You do you, I'll do me. I live a pretty good life. I help out people when I can. I help out the animals when I can. I'm pretty sure I know where I'm going to spend my eternity. And... And I can live my life without telling people how they should live theirs. So, not that I'm against religion. I don't want to, or anything. Just, Jesus, settle down. <laughs> Jesus is me again. Did you get the flowers I sent you? Somebody's pushing shit down your throat. God, stop. That's the only thing that really bothers me. When people push any religion, politics, uh, Jesus, what cologne they like, you think's the best, what fucking video game is the best, what system is the best, I really push it down your throat. Stop it. You live your life, I'll live mine. Leave everybody, you know, just stop it. Christ. Anyway, back to the review. Sorry for the rant. Sometimes I rant. Um... Or Calvin Klein Defy. Um, again, not an unpleasant scent. As a matter of fact, a very pleasant scent. Um, typical Calvin Klein. At least lately, I find. Um, <laughs> copying. Sorry, I get the sniffles, guys. It's got Vetiver in it. You know what Vetiver does to me. <laughs> uh... Not a lot, though, but just enough that it affects me, but it still smells really good. <laughs> um, typical Calvin Klein, like I was saying, it, they, they take a, a popular scent or a couple popular scents and kind of take from them and make their own versions. Um, I want to say clone house, not clone house at all. It's not clone at all. It's just... They're going with the trend instead of bucking it, which is cool. I don't mind that. I'm good with that. Um, again, following the trend, two of most modern scents. They only give you, like, at most half a dozen notes. This one gives me four. Uh, there's more in there than that. Um, so, uh, the top note is bergamot and lavender. I also get a little bit of a sweet fruit from it. Almost like an under, under tinge of a red apple. Um. Uh, so maybe even a cherry-ish kind of vibe. Nothing, not not heavy. Just enough to give it a sweet, little tiny bit of a sweet vibe. Uh, mid, they say vetiver. Definitely. Um, the vetiver here is giving it more of a, a bit of a green vibe to it. Um, but you can you can pick it up. Um, and they say amber in the base. I don't get a whole ton of amber. I get more of a musk. Um, so maybe a Heavy musk with a slight amber tinge. Um, it's what I get from it. Um, it's, it, was, it was hard to do this. this it's hard to do this review because there's really not a whole lot to say about it. Um, it's like they took the best parts of Fierce from Abercrombie and Finch. Finch. Fitch. Whatever. Canadian. I have an accent. Leave me alone thereby. <laughs> uh... YSLY and the original Eternity from Calvin Klein and kind of 
mixed them together, took the best parts and then mixed them together. <laughs> you get that sweet, somewhat aquatic vibe, uh, somewhat blue vibe from Y. You get that lavender heavy, clean citrus and lavender that you get from Fierce. Um, and you get a bit of a, like I said, a fougere almost quality. And I don't mean barbershop. It's just like a green quality from the vetifer. Um, it's kind of like eternity. Bit of a sour tinge to it. Um, that's the best way to describe it. it. It's, if I had to pick one of those three scents that it reminds me the most of, would definitely be fierce. Cause that citrus and that clean lavender pretty much start to finish is the scent the other things kind of just play in the background almost like fierce um i wouldn't say it's not a direct copy or a one one for one copy of fierce not at all but if i had to pick a scent that it smells very similar most similar to i guess it would be fierce um i'm not the biggest fan of fierce Never have been, really. But here, mixed with the other stuff, seems to work better. I like it better than Fierce. Um, I don't like it better than Y. I don't like it better than Eternity. But I do like it better than Fierce. Um, it is what it is. It's it's a Calvin Klein, like I said. So it's, it's, it's going to get you compliments. It's going to be nice. It's going to be easy to wear. And it is. And it got me a few compliments this week, week and a half. Um... Nothing groundbreaking, you know. Most people say, "Oh, that smells nice. It smells good. It smells nice." Well, you know, you know, four or five of those at work. Um, nobody did the whole, you know, like, "What are you wearing?" That smells incredible, or anything. Just, just you know, it smells nice. What more do you want? Um, you break it down best I can, but remember, it's mostly just citrus and lavender. So remember that for most of the life of the scent, like fierce. But I will break it down. When you do spray it on, bang, bang, citrus lavender. But I also get a hint, like I said, of, of a sweet fruit. I don't know if it's apple or cherry or it was a, a sweet, almost synthetic fruit-like smell. Um, again, not overwhelming. It's not a super sweet scent. But it's just enough to go against that somewhat bitterness of the bergamot. Because it's a bit of a bitter citrus um, nice contrast, very nice. Um, then the base comes in. Really started getting that greenness from the vetifer. Uh, again, within 15 or 20 minutes, it starts coming out. That that, that Fougere-like quality. Um, mixes with the lavender really nice. Um, gives it a touch of an old-school vibe without being old man-ish, you know what I mean, um, then the must starts coming to play a couple hours later, and it all blends well together, well blended, um, for, like I said, more of a, an updated take on a classic man scent, um, yeah, uh, It's not, like I said, it's, it's, but it's not old manish. I don't want you to think that, like you're getting fucking, uh, a zero or fucking Paco Rabampo or home or something like that. It's nothing like that. It's real hard to explain, but if you wear it, you know, cologne, you'll know what I mean. It, it's got a touch of, a, a touch of class to it, but still retains a new modern man type scent. Um, so it's very nice. Problem with it, it's Calvin Klein. About four hours. You know, projection wasn't the greatest. Good about half hour, 45 minutes of moderate at best projection. Um, after that, it's pretty much skin scent. Um, did last a couple extra hours on my clothes, but still never projected a whole lot of time, so... You know what you get when you get it. Um, 
bit of an aquatic vibe to it too. I don't know where that's coming from. Maybe the Bergamot Lavender are giving it a, I don't know. I'm not an expert. I just know it got a bit of an aquatic vibe. Um, that's about it, guys. I don't really have a whole lot more to say. Performance, like I said, the, the longevity and the projection, moderate at best. I'd even say below average, but for a Calvin Klein, on par, four or five hours, and then. Uh, I wouldn't pick it up retail, though, um, unless you're looking for, like, a, a substitute for Fierce, and you don't want to spend the money Fierce goes for. Because even at retail, the Calvin Klein is cheaper than Fierce's. Um, or if you can't get Fierce and you want it, maybe. But, I mean, just, just wait a minute. Wait a minute, and it'll hit discounters. It's Calvin Klein. You'll be able to get it for 20 bucks, 30 bucks. Way, way more of a reasonable price for the type of scent it is. So, uh, if you like Fierce... Mostly, uh, you hear a few people say, "Oh, it smells exactly like Y." I don't get that at all. I get more of the fierce vibe. I get a touch of the Y, like I said, with that aquatic, modern blue type sweet scent. Uh, there's a touch of that in there, and the eternity vibe, like I said, comes in a little later. Kind of gives it a fougeres quality, but it's mostly. I said it's mostly a fierce type scent. Again, not a one for one or a dupe or anything, a clone. Just that type of scent. So if you like fierce, you're probably going to like this. Probably a lot. Um, even if you don't like fierce, because I'm not the biggest fan of fierce, but I like this a lot. I wouldn't say I like this a lot, but I like it a lot better than fierce. I like the the fougere esque quality I get with it, you know. But I'm an old man. So what do I know? Uh, yeah, that's it, guys. So uh, I hope you all had a good week and a half, two weeks. Uh, I'll be back, hopefully, this week. Um, I haven't decided what I'm wearing yet. I want to do a clone. I haven't done a clone in a while. One of my cheap clones. So figure out something. All right, guys. Peace, love. Be good to each other.